Okay, Stephen Michaels, tell us about yourself. My name is Stephen Michaels. Uh, there's not much to say about me. Actually, yes, there is. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I grew up uh, in a small town in Texas. I lived in this this beautiful, beautiful trailer park with, with big grass. That's where my story started. Action. So, Stephen, uh, how did you get your big start? Or what did what do you actually do, actually? Well, it happened back in. Uh, 1983, back when my dad bought this beautiful, beautiful lawnmower. It had double-sided blades. It was a eight spin cut. It was, it was beautiful. It was lime green. Every Sunday afternoon, as my mom would read the paper, I would stumble out on our trailer steps and he'd be mowing the yard. I just thought that was the most beautiful thing ever. Explain how you got your how you got your start in lawn mowing. Well, it's funny you ask that. It's kind of a tough subject with me. But when I was about seven years old, actually, it was on my seventh birthday. My dad entered a pushing lawn mower race to win me some birthday money. The prize money was about sixty-seven dollars. I could use that to buy my own lawnmower. But as he was crossing the finish line, his, his buddy Daryl, he ran him over. So ever since then, I made a promise to myself that I would take up lawnmower racing stuff. You know, I would cut my grass twice a week. Not just once a week, but twice a week. I would have the best lawn ever. And I would be the world's fastest mower. So how are close for you and your father? Well, me and my dad, Chuck Michaels, man, he was the best dad I could ever have. When I wanted a candy bar in the grocery store, he didn't say, no, son, you cannot have that. He said, sure, son, you believe it, and you can have it. Just believe that you have the money to buy that candy bar. And he taught me to dream. I won this lawnmower. It was lime green, just like my daddy's. It had leather seats with leather and um, I actually painted some teeth on it I called it the steel pony alright so um every every time I've seen the show they always show the refrigerators so let's have a look I've got some fresh cantaloupe that's, that's good stuff Oh, well, I have one of my own products, it's, um, Steven's Lynn Juice for Champs, and, uh, you should go out and buy some. So, uh, Michaels. Yes. Uh, I heard you had the best lawnmower in the world. Yeah, I do. Where is it? Here, let me show you. Yeah, this is my baby boy. This is my newest one. It's a poultry... Pro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, wins me lots of races. Mm -hmm. Don't, I hear you also um, practice uh, six times a week mowing your lawn. Um, that's actually a big old media lie, Mr. Interviewer. I practice seven times a week, so mm. yeah, I get some good practice in, you know. So tell us your normal life, um, if uh, you know, without lawn mowing. What do you do in your spare time? Stuff like that. Well, it's kind of hard to say because, you know, most of the time I'm just going around winning most of the medals around here. But when I'm not on my 
uh, baby girl right here. Um, I'm uh, I'm mainly just you know helping out the homeless. You know, uh, being the nicest guy I can be. You know, some people call me a saint, but I just like to call myself perfect. Uh huh. <laughs> You're pretty perfect, I guess. Yeah, I guess I am. What are you doing? I'm recording. Why? Just tell tell the people that you think I'm a great guy and stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Are, are, we, are you gonna edit this all out, right? Because I don't really think you're a great guy. <laughs> Just, okay. Steve's, yeah, you do. Steve's a great guy. Oh, beat you up, dude. Say I'm a, uh, say I'm not a good guy right you're now. You're a good guy. <laughs> oh, hey, Steve. What's up, dude? For the last time, I told you. It's my dishwasher. You know, I'm glad I won all those races. You know that house of mine won a bot itself. Well, my day. I've earned a lot of medals, rewards, trophies for a lot of things. One is for the best parallel And if I do say so, I did deserve that. I deserved it well. And also, I race a lot, you know. You know, I sometimes take my lawnmower up some jumps. So, yeah. Sounds good. Time to go see the wife and kids.